Game two here in New Albany after a IU Southeast win in game one. Macy Warner in the circle for the Grenadiers, and she will face Ryan Berger in center field. And she delivers strike one. Yeah, Warner eight and four. 377 ERA, 78 innings pitched, 62 strikeouts. One and one. Same lineup for Midway as in game one, other than Duncan will be the pitcher to Duncan. start us off. Duncan closed the last game out, the final few innings, so. Very familiar faces. The 2-1 pitch. Chopped. That'll be to Warner over to Bennett. For out number one. Macy Warner is your pitcher. Second base, Kenley Gilbert. Gilbert, the second baseman, steps in. Grenadier defense a little bit different this game. Zink moves from third to behind the plate. Caitlin Leister at third base. Josie Lemons goes to left. Kendall Brown in center. One and one. To Gilbert. The pitch. That's a grounder. Over to right, 4-3 put out, two way. Third base, number 12, Kennedy Thompson. Now Kennedy Thompson, the third baseman. Grounder off the glove of Warner. Leicester fields and fires across the old 1-5-3 put out to end the inning. We move to the bottom of the first, scoreless. Josie Lemons leads off the bottom of the first. Lemons, Bennett, and Olstrom do up here for the Grenadiers against, again, as Logan said, the pitcher who closed out game one, 
Duncan. First pitch swinging by Lemons, fouls it off. Pitcher with the most innings on this team, Alexa Hoskins, I believe did not make the trip. Is scratched out on the lineup card. So Midway trying to get some innings here. Fouled away. One and two. So that theory about them using both their starters in game one might have been accurate, Steven. Popped up over to the shortstop. Rhodes, she makes the catch for out number one. The batter, first base, number 38, Greenway Bennett. We saw the Grenadier strike early in game one, looking to do the same here. Bennett, first pitch swinging. And that is over opposite field for a fly out as Hudnall makes the catch, two outs. Right fielder, number 19, Autumn Olstrom. Now Olstrom. Let's see if they even try and test her here. Can't imagine they would with nobody on. Yeah, they have not exactly been excited to pitch to her so far today, Stephen. But again, like just Walker. Yep. Like, I mean, she's not chasing. She's not chased at all. Yep. Seems to be the very clear game plan coming into this one. And a four-pitch walk. Aaron Templeman, who is the designated player here in game two after catching game one, will step in with two away. Did some damage in the first game after they walked Autumn. There's ball one. Grounded foul, one and one. Turned into a bit of a scorcher out here today. One of the hotter temperatures, if not the hottest we've seen this year. There's a conversation between Haley Book and the first base umpire. I don't know. I believe something is on the field or somebody was out of the dugout. Something, or the gate was open. It something, may have been something the down gate that line. was open. Yeah. Just got a piece of that one and two. Still one and two. Nice job waiting back on that one just to foul it off. Grounded up the middle, that'll get through. Base hit, runners on first and second. Two on, two out now for Macy Zink. 
The catcher, number eight, Macy Zink. Popped up into center. The catch is made there by Berger to end the inning. We move to the second, scoreless. Four, five, six, due up for Midway here in the second. Katie Rhodes leads it off the shortstop. That's a liner back up the middle. That'll be a base hit. Yeah, first pitch aggressiveness right there. So Rhodes is on for Sarah Snodgrass. Something we did not see in game one until the fifth inning as a base hit by Midway. It's inside 1-0. Nice back pick there. Keep Rhodes close to first base, but slides in safely. To a pitch. It's high, three and up. So Warner in danger, putting the first two runners on here. First two batters on, rather. After a single, and now she's behind three and up. There's a strike. Runner goes, she slides in safely. And it's 3-1. Looked like maybe slid into that back part of the base to avoid the tag. Hard to see from up here, but safe in there. Healthy hack there by Snodgrass, and it's 3-2. and two. And there's a strikeout. One out here in the second. The left fielder, number seven, Carly Jones. Nice bounce back there. Get the strikeout. Jones takes strike one. Really nice job of falling behind 3 0. Early in danger of putting runners on first and second. Comes back, gets the strikeout.
pitch. It's off the plate, one and two. Jones trying to get midway on the board here with a runner in scoring position and one out. Foul back. Chop foul, still one and two. I look like it fooled Jones just a little bit, but nice job putting the bat out there just to foul it away. Yeah. Swing and a miss, she chases. There's another strikeout for Warner, two outs. The first baseman, number 55, Peyton Brown. And that's going to get down, and that'll score a run. So midway strikes first. Really nice piece of hitting there by Baum, hitting into the right center field gap. Ulstrom did a nice job trying to take a good route to that one to cut it off, but just unable to grab it as it rolls all the way to the wall for an RBI double. That misses ball one. In the dirt, 2-0. Oh. Kara McCall up as the veteran catcher will go out to talk to the freshman pitcher, the Macy combination. Gives her some words of encouragement and high five, and Zinko head back behind the plate. The pitch off the glove of Zink. Runner moves to third. high. I think I'm able to grab that one. Pitch. And there's another walk. So this will be Hudnall. So much better start here to this game than in game one for Midway. They've already got a run in. And now runners at the corners for Hudnall with two outs and Warner's tr having trouble finding the strike zone. There's a strike.
Kendall Brown leads it off here in the second. Sends a flare into right. One out. One away. Pitcher, number 15, Warner. Now Warner. She takes strike one. Grenadiers really in an unfamiliar situation, facing a deficit, not something that's happened to a ton of them in conference play. Two and one. Duncan looking to work that outside edge on Warner a little bit. Top of the fifth here in New Albany. After some technical difficulties, it looks like we're back. Macy Warner still in the circle, trailing two nothing. She delivers ball one to Macy or to uh, Berger. Top of the order due up for the Eagles here in the fifth. Foul away, one and one. Nothing doing for the Grenier offense so far in the front four innings. And they're going to try and claw back here as we're getting late. But Warner's going to have to keep throwing up some zeros to give the Grenadiers a chance as it looks like the offense has gone cold here. Yeah, certainly. Not even getting anyone on the base pass, really. Midway, the aggressor the entire game so far. Popped up. Olstra makes the catch one out. Second base. Now Gilbert, the second baseman. Fouled back for strike one. One and one. Yeah. 
Missed two and one.